Cyclone Kenneth continues to intensify this morning and is now a Category 1 on the Sapphire Simpson scale with winds of 75 miles an hour, that's around 120 kilometers per hour, and a pressure of 986 millibars, estimated from Meteo France. It's uh, on the CDPS scale, it's a stage 5, it's down slightly on yesterday but still has the potential to be a very devastating storm. The rainfall potential has fallen only a little bit uh, and also its size potential has also fallen somewhat too, it is a fairly small storm. Here's its location right now, 11.1 degrees south, 45.4 degrees east. Uh, this is as of 12 p.m. Eastern African time this April 24th um, and as you can see it's situated just north of the Comoros Islands, 93 miles from Anjouan, 111 miles from Mayotte, 152 from Moroni, the capital of the Comoros, 352 from Pemba in Mozambique and 360 from Matwara in southern Tanzania. All of the areas in yellow here may be affected by tropical storm conditions in the next 48 hours. Uh, we expect landfall will now occur in around 48 hours, so that brings us to Friday. Um, and in the next 12 to 24 hours we may see its closest pass to the Comoros. There it is moving through and you can see just how small this system is on the GFS forecast model runs. Uh, that does also mean that strength fluctuations um, are much more difficult to forecast for a smaller system like this. Some models suggest that it could reach high-end category 4 status at quick order uh, because of its small size it could intensify very quickly indeed. Of course it may weaken just as quickly before it makes landfall in Mozambique and at the moment the Joint Typhoon Warning Center is sort of siding with that a little bit, some weakening before landfall. Uh, sea surface temperatures around 28 or 29 degrees Celsius over the African continent there, surface temperatures reaching 36 degrees further up the coast there, uh, but of course that won't affect the storm out at sea. Here is another look at the wind field, you can see hurricane force winds moving over the Comoros Islands, possibly a landfall, uh, and then Thursday night, Friday morning, we're looking at the landfall on Mozambique. Uh, northern Mozambique, very close to the border of Tan with Tanzania, moving inland, possibly stalling as it does so, and that could uh, mean increased rainfall potential. We're currently looking at over 500 millimeters of rainfall expected over parts of northernmost Mozambique and into southern Tanzania, it might enter the hundreds as well. Uh, this is another look here at the uh, the red zones there, the highest chances of tropical storm conditions in the next five days. And as you can see, uh, the chances start to decrease as you move inland as it makes landfall in Mozambique. Of course, the storm will weaken pretty quickly after it makes its landfall. Here's the uh, models, and you can see the CTCX really going off the deep end, calling for a Category 5. I don't think that's going to happen. The model consensus is so far somewhere around Category 3 range. That is still a very intense storm. Wind shear remains fairly low, around 10 to 15 knots at the minute. Sea surface temperatures very high, and you can see the CTCX, I think, is very much overestimating sea surface temperatures, which might be the reason why it's forecasting such a strong peak. So I think we can discard that one. Worst case scenario, we could be looking at intensification to Category 4 status over the next two days, but that still may not happen either. Here's the latest satellite imagery of the storm's progression, an eye starting to become clear in those later frames. Uh, still not a great eye at the minute, shallow, um, and at least one fracture in it. Looks like the northern side is struggling. Convection blowing up over the eye in those later frames. Uh, significant rainfall will be arriving over the Comoros Islands. I think some of it will have already uh, began. And the daytime imagery there, you can see the visible, the eye starting to become apparent on there as well. More updates throughout the day and this week. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. Of course, you can come into direct contact with us by uh, messaging fool13 on Discord at extension 9094 and force13 on Skype. And our partners are also doing updates Mateo Acyclo Maurice on Facebook.